Hello everybody, the Chilean Retro Gamers here. Are you ready for more Mario Hack action? I guess you are. Well, this time I want to play another Anikiri ROM hack. In this case, Mario X World Bowser's Strike Back. Of course, Japanese and everything, and very hard, as you can presume. Well, today I have a guest. Cure binary. Yep. So let's begin once and for all. Well, you can notice some differences in comparison to the previous Anikiris ROM hacks. The music and the graphics, especially. Because here it is used the Super Mario Bros. 3 Mario, let's say. As, as well, the music and other yeah. elements. Okay, let's go. Although I think, um, let's see, yeah, um, I think the one that you can't find does have some Mario 3 graphics in it. Yeah, also, yeah, I, I played it once. Uh, I am referring to, we are referring to Mario X World DX or Deluxe, which is strangely easier than the traditional Anikiri ROM hacks. It's pretty simple, it's not necessary to use seven states in it. Anyway, mm -hmm. yeah, especially some ROM hacks disappeared from Super Mario World Central with no explanation. And unfortunately, <laughs> those ROM hacks were pretty cool, very good in general. Lots of levels, different overworld maps, and everything. Which, in my opinion, it is required to be considered a, 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 an actual ROM hack. I mean, a good yeah. ROM hack. I mean, you can modify everything you want, but a, a really good ROM hack, in my opinion, as you can... I mean, as I suppose you know, is uh, the, the one uh, which both the overall map and the levels are modified. I mean, a new game. Yeah. That's the thing. That's one more reason why I don't like Kaizo Mario World, for example. I mean, I, I, I know that there are some overworld modified but no so brilliant it is focused on you know difficulty I didn't notice that the music is from the all stars version of Super Mario 1 I think I haven't used uh, save states yet. But this is the first level. That's weird. Should appear appear any uh ah yeah okay the the springboard. Okay oh binary by the way I saw you started Super Mario Infinity as well. Bip Bip one. Yeah. So how many projects at the same time? Four, five? Uh, projects. Um, for Super Mario World, I have five Super Mario World games. And, uh, um, four of them are I did more than just the start. Um, did all of them except for TSRP1, which I do have one video of, but that's about it. Ah. As far as that. I forgot this. Mushroom. Can I get another one just in case? Yes, I can. Yeah, I don't understand anything about it of the dialogue. So let's go to the second level. In theory, shorter because of the circles. I hope so. I actually had to re-upload one of my Luigi's Adventure videos. Why? Because for some reason the the video didn't process, and so I. I say that it happened to me in the morning when I was uploading some Georgie's Island DS uh, videos. It happened to a couple of them, and I had to re-upload them. Yeah. Especially. So basically, I just. Yep. 
Go ahead. Especially, let's see. But basically, um, I just described uh, the scenario. Um, uh, and I said, and I asked uh, in the video description, "Why are you watching this out of order?" Ah. By the way, especially uh, your case, what? Let's see. Quite beatable so far. I don't want to see to say easy, but well, this is just the beginning. In theory, this is the game in which you can play eleven worlds. Luis Adventure Three, you can play ten. Yeah. Isn't Luigi's Adventure the one with nine worlds? Or one of the, the the first one you mean? Yeah. I guess I guess so. Nine worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No no Lost Worlds or Star Worlds, things like that. No no no. Nine in total, yes. Mm -hmm. And the previous one that I played, uh, second edition returns, they are eight. Shorter. Okay. Yeah, quite easy. Second level. Let's remember. I'm just beginning. Binary, I would like to ask you something now. Okay. I notice it. I know. I notice uh, when in some of your videos, especially the Luis Adventure ones. Before starting, I mean, before saying welcome back and uh, and all that, you are like singing, right? Or something. I do something. Uh, not on pur always singing, on purpose, but I sometimes. guess. Yeah. Especially singing. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. was hilarious to I say the, the least. Anyway, I just in my VIP one series, I just I noticed the I I just like the bonsai Bill's face. <laughs> it has an actual like. face of a. Let's see. I was watching some big videos the other day. Oh my god, it's pretty original. Not not only in terms of the enemy design, but also um, bosses, the patterns of the enemies too. The, the, some of them are new. Yeah, I saw some uh, builds that uh, follow you at full speed. It's That's. I think that starts in World 5 of VIP 2, I'm not for sure, but I think... Yeah, I, I don't remember which VIP and where, but... I mean... But there's more of that in VIP 3 and VIP 4, I think. Sure, I, I, I guess so. And I, so, <laughs> and I said, when I, I saw those videos, I will never play this. Yeah. You are not yeah. safe, not even using save states, <laughs> things like that. Oh, first castle, okay. Yeah, the, I noticed that, you know, people, you know, talked about how, oh, Luigi's Adventures is very, 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 very hard. Uh, some of the gimmicks and some of the other Samurai World hacks put the Luigi's Adventure uh, ROM hack difficulty to shame. You know, 
Yeah. Okay, first castle. We have one minute, one more minute. Let's try. Oh, Super Mario 1 Design and Super Mario 3 Fortress Music. Well, it's a combination, actually. Oh, what's this? Pipes in the background. Worlds in the VIP series I'm not looking forward to our our levels. I'm not looking forward to our the the poison gas um, level and other air levels. Poison gas. Well, sounds interesting. Yeah. It's Anyway, there is no time. See you next time.